just uh, wanting to kind of go natural because I have a lot of gray coming in and I kind of want to just let that happen. But I've, I've had my hair blonde for so long. I'm a natural ashy blonde. I mean, this is my natural hair color, which kind of looks brown next to the um, lightened part. But um, I do have up here at my roots, I have some uh, light parts that go straight to the roots. So I know that that's the gray in my hair. Anyway, I'm just wanting to kind of tone down this color. So I saw this at Sally's, it's called Color Lux, and it's just like a basic, it says it shampoos and it conditions and it colors. And I went ahead and bought it on a whim and I tried to find reviews on YouTube or anywhere. Nothing, nothing. How is that possible? Absolutely nothing, no reviews. On the Sally website, I saw some reviews and there were people that loved it and people that hated it. So I don't know. And I'm not really sure what the base is because I looked it up and there, the base is blue and the base is violent. And then there's some orange in there and red. And so I have no clue what's going to happen. So I decided to go ahead and section out my hair to just do the back. And this is cool. I normally do my hair. I have my mirror up here and it reflects in the mirror back there. So all I'm going to do is this. It's a great representation of my hair and it's in the back. So I guess we'll see. Maybe I shouldn't do that much. Maybe I should go ahead and just do the centerpiece. But you know, if it's a weird color, I, I think it'll be better if the whole back is done. Let's get a look and see how it, how it works. So, you know what? No reviews. Go ahead and do it. Let's see. Let's see what happens. That's me. So, anyway, this is what it is. I'm just supposed to apply it to dry hair for a more, you know, vibrant, um, Or um, it's kind of purpley, I'll show you. Here it is, it's kind of purpley. So I guess let's just see what happens. The smell of this is so good. It's almost like a, like a citrusy perfume. It's really yummy, really yummy. So I'll leave this on for a while. So it's been about 20 minutes, 23 minutes. I have no idea what it looks like. I haven't looked yet. definitely looks darker um I don't know if that's because you know it just has the darker stuff on it or not but I'm gonna go ahead and rinse that out so I went ahead and, and washed it and I kept this in in a cap and um, then I blow dried it and it, I don't see a discernible difference from the rest of my hair. Discernible difference from back here, the colored hair, and here, the non-colored hair. So, well, at least I didn't damage my hair. At least I didn't turn it green. Um, just maybe I toned it a little. I think that on camera, the starkness doesn't show up as well, you know. People go, what's wrong with that color? Um, and you know, nothing really. That's why I haven't done anything. That's why I'm trying to just grow it out. Cause this is my natural color up here. And I can tell that 
some of my gray goes all the way to the root because if you can see it's light all the way to the root and I haven't had it colored in months so as you can tell from down here so maybe I'll just keep letting it grow out and obviously that's not a product that, that I really want to use but Thank you for joining me. So at least now there is one review on Color Lux on YouTube. So I figured since it really didn't do anything to that little back section on my hair, I thought, well, why don't I go ahead and use it on my whole head? I mean, what's the harm, right? Maybe it just took out some of the brassiness because it seemed like it maybe it wasn't as yellow. So I put it over my whole head and I left it on for 45 minutes. Now, I don't see the line, the clear line of the blonde anymore. I mean, you can still see, you know, the root line. But not like before, I mean, my hair is wet. Remember, it's still wet, but that's crazy. Now it almost looks like my roots are purple and that's not good, but we will go ahead and see after I dry it. So now here it is in the light and it totally did do something. And it's really strange how the light goes all the way up and it's like the same color all the way up to here and that's the gray so i guess the gray hair picked up some of the shampoo but it actually looked really nice i mean there of course there's still a different differentiation between here and there but it's not quite as stark as it was before so yes there is still where you can see my roots but it definitely mellowed out the yellowness and made it look so much more um, even and not as daring. So I'm not sure why when I first did it, it didn't work. And maybe it was, I didn't, I didn't put it on enough hair to make a difference. But I've done test strips before and it was really obvious. So the only thing I could think of, the only other thing I could think of is the amount of time I left it on. So I left it on for only 15 minutes the first time. This time I left it on for 40 to 45 minutes. So maybe that's the difference, but I'm very happy with it um, now. So, you know, too bad I already left that review on Sally's website because... Um, actually, I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased with how my hair feels. Um, I'm very pleased with the color. So I'm happy that I did it. And I would definitely, definitely use this again. I mean, there's the line, but this isn't so yellow anymore. So maybe all it did was tone this down a little bit, but I think it looks a lot better. So yeah. It worked.